Yeah. So the question isn't really, would, would, would you buy this racket or this racket? It's yeah. would you buy this racket or your next racket? We've been given this opportunity by Adidas to test six of them. In part two, we'll be testing the Calcum A5, A3 and Stilton W3.1 and asking the question, would you give up your racket to use an Adidas racket? For my um, uh, personal feels of the racket, uh, this one definitely is a very forgiving and it's really quick to I add forgive you. <laughs> yes, I forgive you. Thank you. <laughs> for, all, for all the mistakes you shall make, I forgive you. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's really um, um, very easy to maneuver and you hit, you know, the only thing is lack is the uh, power. Uh, the, once the shuttle go right up, you know, it's struggle, but with the net and the weird is, you know, yeah. uh, um, coming off the racket, it's really, really lovely, mm -hmm. really lovely. So this is one. So, so and for this one, for me, I felt like, as soon as I made the first contact, it felt different to, to all the other rackets that we've been trying. Mm -hmm. I felt almost like I had to change the way in which I was hitting to get any kind of response. Mm -hmm. From the back of the court, I felt like I had to try yeah, a yeah. bit harder. Yeah. Maybe just because of the head heavy racket that I play with, I'm not used to this being, you know, actually this is a head heavy, head -heavy racket. Yeah, it's but I immediately heavy. felt the difference, and for me it was, um, yeah, I could. Um, you could do a little bit stiffer. Yeah, I could do a little bit stiffer. Yeah. All right. I agree with you. Yeah. So this one's interesting because this is the one that that Penty oh. plays with, right? And it comes highly recommended. So having played it, what did you feel? This is and it's it surprises me really, really because you know I mean the grip is not brilliant, but cancel out that and I was hitting with it. I think out of all the other racket, this is one of the best okay. view you can get. Mm -hmm. You know, Why? not only from, I mean, the, the racket is very well balanced mm -hmm. and it has got the, uh, you know, the high shots, the hind court shots, as well as in the mid court yeah. and the net, everything that you, 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 you know, you can play with this really yeah. well. And uh, the balance is, you know, really good. Yeah. So, you know, if you have to put it on the shelf and if you go and test it out, this is the so racket, not, yeah. you know, out of all the others. I mean... Well, this one's quite close to it because that's the, the A3 and this is the A5. So what did you think of the A5? This one is also another good, but this is slightly stiffer for you, mm -hmm. um, you know, in my, in my hand. Mm -hmm. But when I look at it, they are both very, very, very similar. Yeah. Um, again, this, this racket, you know, performs very well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only problem is when you're doing the net shots and stuff like that is yeah. this, you know, slightly, uh, you know, this distance out better than yeah. this racket. Well, for me, it's slightly similar in, in the sense that I enjoyed playing both of these rackets. But for me, I thought I got the best reaction, even at the back of the court. Yeah. Just one little wrist flick, I was yeah. able to get a nice clear without much effort. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel that, you know, for a men's doubles player, this, yeah, really, I think this, this really suited really my style. Suited. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and for me going forward, I'd have to recommend the, the Calculate yeah, 5. Yeah. I think one really nice racket, a bit too light for me. I think it was, I was struggling, not struggling to put it down at the back, but I wasn't getting that, that, mm. that I need. Yeah. And I think as a men's and mixed player, if I'm playing, and I'm playing especially against someone against like Alan, if he notices that I'm unable to put it down with that oomph at the back, he will start to step forward. And he has nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm from there because most of the shots would be wrist smash or lacking that power. So he'll be able to step forward and take it off the net. And the same if I'm playing mix, the girl will realize and then count up. Yeah. Um, I felt this, this racket was definitely suited to full court. Okay. It, it feels a bit lighter when you initially take it, but it's very comfortable when you're playing net shots, playing the drives. Mm -hmm. It definitely lacks when you're taking the other shots. Yeah. So I would say it's geared towards mixed doubles. And a front player. Front court player. Yeah, front court player. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, A5, surprisingly, I, I like that. I, I'm not sure what the difference is that much between. It's like one point in between the head heavy. Yeah, one on each side. One on each side, yeah. But I did, I did like, I did like this. This racket I liked from last week. Um, I felt my defense was very good with this racket. That I was actually Absolutely. able to get a nice pop. I'm not I mean, sure. This, this too yeah, I was able to get a nice pop. So that was, I'd say, of the three with up there with the. With the, yeah, with the yeah, I mean, I found the two rackets very similar as well. Um, I'd probably go towards the, the A5. 
A3, yeah. over the A5, I couldn't tell you exactly why. Yeah, that's it. What rugby do you play with? What rugby do you play with? I play with the Yonex Nano 9000. Okay. Um, and maybe that one felt the most similar to it. This so is probably why you my... yeah. This is more headlight compared to that one. And it's a little bit stiffer. Yeah, yeah this headlight. is definitely, definitely head for that. Yeah. Yeah. But both, both felt very comfortable to play with. Both felt like they were more in that all round yeah. um, bracket. So. Yeah, I agree. Definitely both of the A5. Sorry, what's the A? The K3 and A5. The A3 and the A5. The A3 and the A5. Both. So quite an all-round racket, like you said, you know, suited to any kind of style of play, it would fit, like it wouldn't, yeah, all around, mix, all around, play single. It's strange, because I was able to find both of them for the same price, and we're not sure why we like each, uh, each one differently, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to weigh it up, but, yeah, we say the national it's, it's, it's a bit faster, also, so. it's a little bit faster. Yeah. I mean, both of them are light enough for you to be able to take that shot early. Um, you're not relying on too much physical power. Mm -hmm. The racket's um, yeah, it's definitely giving you a double that, that extra speed yeah, to, to that, be able to take the shuffle yeah. I felt that one has more, it's got more of an effortless clear. You know, you put your, your frame up and you just chuck a little technique, that's got an effortless clear. I felt I had to put a bit more hips into this so I want to get into the back of first. All right, so it is actually a bit of a challenge to try six rackets out. Yeah, you know, especially, we've yeah. got, we got to consider these aren't our own grips. It's not strong the way that we, that we usually have them strong. But at the same time, you know, we've, we've been able to do a couple of exercises, a couple of games. Um, yeah, so Spence, out of all these six, if you were to, to take away one today, which one would you feel? I, I think because I'm, I'm, I've got um, you know, quite a heavy racket, so I think the, the, the weight of this is definitely good. Um, you know, it's really good racket, but I would say this P7. Yeah. P7, definitely. Not just because it matches you. <laughs> well, that's another thing, isn't it? I didn't quite like it, but after you pointed out, you know, I think it's really good. <laughs> For me, um, the PGA3, um, easily, it was only between the A3 and the A5, yeah. I would probably just start the other four, um, just because they're not suited to me. Uh, this racket, I like the look of it as well, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, important, yeah. Um, but nice more importantly, it, it feels right, it feels... Um, so I like how you pointed that out because some people like to gloss over that. Now the design's important. No, the design's important. Nice, it doesn't yeah, look yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 you buy it from cover, man. Come on, you're not no. testing it when you see it on the website. You're buying it from cover, man. I would say I'd weigh it up between the... What would be the, the A3 and then the P7's in there. Yeah. I would say my two, I'd, I'd weigh up between these two. Yeah. Um, I'd need to see over a period of time, very close. Put your own grip on there. And yeah, then, yeah, but I, I think for the, the, as the grips are not ideal, but I've I think had no the, problem. Oh, yeah, P7 has got a bit more. Oh, yeah, I was, I was surprised. I could have both of these in my bag, and I think my game wouldn't vary too much, that yeah. much in between. And the fact the price is, is not that different. But what's interesting well, is that's, that's double the price. Yeah, so sorry, the yeah, the, the Carol, yeah. Carol, Carol, which Carol. most of us, yeah, the That's the grip. I saw some grip on the They make rackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They do tennis and also. Um, but Cal -Cal 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 -Cal. It's a cheaper, the cheaper range. Cal -Cal. But I think Cal -Cal 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 -Cal. from our what we've found here is that it's been one of the rackets that we prefer most. And then from the research we did, speaking to players, no one is using the, the walk there. Actually, all the players who are playing on the circuit, playing the international, yeah. British number one, oh, cool, yeah. they're using the same, they're oh, using these yeah. rackets. And then when, they said, when, we, when I messaged them to say, ask oh, them, and they said that, I was like, huh? wait a second. Yeah. But then now when you hit with it, you see why. Wow. It's an unbiased choice. They've, they've yeah. hit with the racket. And for a singles player to have a racket like this is, is yeah, it, wow. it is. Uh, okay, it's an overall very mm. good racket. So I'd say for my, so it's these between, two. between these two. Um, yeah, All between right. these two. I think this is closer to my racket, but I think I can work with this yeah. quite well, especially with the punches. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah, this is this is definitely. Uh, I, agree with it. I don't know. This is from this is first. You, you still have all this, six. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's first. This is first, and then it's a joint second. But I know it would change my game between this and the P8. Oh, so I know P8. if I got used to the P8, P8, not the P8. P8 I know I would, my game, would it would not be adapted, to it, be adapted to it, but like my game is already quite smash orientated. Yeah. So if I get timing with this and I get quick enough to move it around with the defense and get used to it in the front court, I think it could be like a, a good racket for me to use. But yeah. I, I think for not wanting to really be asked to like 
put in the hours and get used to it and get used to the speed and the, the heaviness of it, I would probably go for this one first and then have this as my backup. Yeah. In my bag for, sure. for me, it's it's the P7 and the green one. This one here. Hold on one second. And for me, like, I'm not too into the stats and the science, it's more the feel. How, how does the, the shuttle respond when I hit it? And for me, it was these two rackets. But at the same time, if I'm in the shop and I see one for like a hundred and something pounds and one for like 50, 60 pounds, I'm usually going for the expensive one. You know, that's just a... Yeah, you know, I that, think, but no, I, that, but I think that's good for this. This is, this is why this technology is going to make yeah. me the yeah. best yeah. lab so, so for me, overall, it's the P7 with the close, you know, the Calpol A5. Yeah. From when yeah. Alan's saying the A3 and G's weighing up between the two, that and this is what the national way they are when you look at sort of a not we don't want to compare it to your next but into you yeah, know, well, I mean you have to compare basic, it to your yeah, yeah, because yeah, they've yeah, gone at the same price. Yeah. Yeah. So the question isn't really would, would, would you buy this racket or this racket? Yeah. Would you buy this racket or your, or your next racket? Yeah, 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 that's the biggest question. Yeah. yeah. Would, um, you, would you give up your yeah. racket for so one would of these? You swap okay, yeah. yes. So, Alan to first. change brands uh, is a big thing. That's the thing Especially if you're maybe slightly older and you're used to something. Mm -hmm. to, to change your brand is, is a big deal. Um, so you're really going to have to go okay. right for that. No, but having tried up what you tried today and the way you played... Yeah, I would consider this racket. Yeah, yeah okay. Because it felt right. Yeah. It felt right. I, I would consider uh, buying one of them to take the bank for money. And um, stringing it how I liked it, ripping it how I liked it, yeah. and, and giving it back. Okay. And if I did, then I'd buy three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I think the same I would consider changing. And and I think a big factor in that is that, see, to myself, and that we use discontinued rackets. Yeah. So, in order for us to, once those rackets go, we break yeah, them, need the we, we, the replacement, I need to be able to test it like properly, not mm -hmm. hit one mm -hmm. time with it, and I need to compare it to something else. Yeah. And I think, because of this, we've been able to try this and be like, okay, right, well, at least I know I'm, I've tested it for an hour or two, and I can say, okay, right, this is closer thing. So enough talking now, let's just jump up on the court. Let's get back on the court. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah.